Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing September favorites. I am super quickly just gonna get my eyebrows out of the way to save some time. So I'm gonna start off with my Dior brow styler in the shade Universal Brown. This is an illuminator that I've really been liking from Wet n Wild. It's in the shade Goddess Glow. Now this is super intense, like so, so, so intense. So. I do use it on top of foundation occasionally, but I actually really like wearing it the most underneath foundation because by wearing it underneath foundation, I feel like I just don't run as much of a risk of it looking too intense because it's so intense that it's strong enough to peek out from behind full coverage foundation. Uh, just a little bit too much to be used on top of foundation all the time But underneath it just provides you with like that really strong natural lit from within type of glow I like matte foundation now. I know that's crazy, but I've been reaching for matte foundation Pretty much every single time I do my makeup. This one is from Almay and I am obsessed It does not have a pump so you have to Pour it out on the back of your hand. Dot it all over my face. Again, this stuff does set pretty quick, so when I'm using it, I do like to work a little bit faster than I would with other foundations. And uh, my favorite application method is with a sponge. I just think I get a little bit better coverage and it looks a little bit nicer. Whereas when I use a brush, sometimes I can see brush strokes and I like how the sponge picks up any extra product so that the foundation doesn't look too full coverage or too overwhelmingly artificial. The past month I was obsessed with that Maybelline Superstay Concealer but my under eyes are feeling a little bit dry today so I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy because uh, this doesn't make my under eyes look any more dry even though I feel like the Maybelline one is still good when my under eyes are a little bit dry looking. I just know that this NARS one will stay creamy underneath my eyes and it won't make anything look crusty, which we want to avoid. I have a powder that I actually really have fallen in love with. It's changed me. It's the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Powder. I use the shade Light Medium 2. I just like applying it with a little brush like this and like you guys know, I typically hate powders. I'm the type of person where whenever I wear powder, I feel like it just highlights my insecurities. It shows all the dry patches that I have on my skin. It settles into the dry patches. It makes my skin look even more dry and crusty. And so I, for the longest time, was completely skipping out on powder. And I would rather just touch up my makeup throughout the day or have to redo my makeup because it all came off than stick powder on my skin. But when I use this powder, I feel like you can't even tell that I'm using powder. It mattifies my skin just slightly, but it doesn't take away. You can still see that highlight peeking out from certain parts. It's not completely mattifying my skin. It'll make the makeup last longer, but it won't make my skin look any more dry. It doesn't age my skin. It just looks so nice and keeps my makeup in place without making my skin look worse, which is a problem that I have from a bunch of other powders. That's why I'm so picky with powder. Um, and that's why most of the time I skip out on powder. But recently I've been starting to use powder a lot more and I've been reaching for this one. I was so excited about this. Physicians Formula came out with a deeper shade of the Butter Bronze. This is Sculpting Bronze, and it is one of my new favorite contours. So I'm gonna use it on a Marc Jacobs angled brush. It's a very deep, dark tone. You can use it to bronze as well if you like, but I also like to do just like a light chisel with it, because you guys can see I'm barely pressing it onto my skin and I'm already getting that really nice shadow. Oh wait, actually I will show you guys a really nice contour technique that'll kind of help you from getting your contour looking too aggressive. So you can take your bronzer brush and then your bronzer. I'm gonna use this one from NARS. 
before we go in and contour anymore. And I'm just gonna lightly bronze up my skin with this bronzer the way I typically would. So just, you know, warming up my skin tone, applying it all over. This brush sheds so much. I swear I don't know how much longer I can use this brush. I absolutely love it, but it will not stop shedding. And it is one of the most frustrating things ever. So then once you've done a light bronze, go in with your contour shade. And the bronzer is essentially a buffer, so it's gonna make sure that you don't overdo your contour. And you can deepen up around your hairline just to add a little bit more contour around the perimeter of your face, just to add a tiny bit of definition. I don't like over contouring my nose because I feel like it just looks too obvious. For blush, I'm gonna use one of my very favorites. It's from Neutrogena. It's the Cheeky Wink Blush in Boys and Berry, this gorgeous berry tone. I like to pick it up on a brush. I just like how that diffuses the color out a bit, but you can, okay, wow. I do like the way a brush softly diffuses the color. It is the most gorgeous berry shade that's very buildable, so you can get this a little bit more intense if that's your blush style, but I just like that hint of berry right on the cheek. It's got a sheen to it, so it looks so juicy and youthful. It's like the perfect reflective berry blush. For eyes today, I'm just gonna use this Natasha Denona Crystal Chroma Bronze Eye Top Coat. And just lightly pat that on my eyelids with my fingertips. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. There's nothing super crazy going on for me in the eyeshadow department this month. I didn't like fall in love with anything. I've been loving eye glosses, uh, liquid shimmer shadows, and like colored eyeliners, but I know that's not like the most exciting thing. But just being honest, I'm liking to keep it a little bit more simple for the day to day right now. And just popping a little bit of these on because they look so shiny and wet, but they stay dry. So I kind of get the effect of an eye gloss without actually having to wear an eye gloss. Because look at that, it literally looks like it's wet. Uh, I'm gonna throw a little bit of eyeliner on. This one's from Marc Jacobs. Just a nice brown in the tight line and the waterline. This mascara has been the one I've been reaching for the most. It's the False Fiber Lashes from L'Oreal in the waterproof version, of course. You guys know me. I have to use waterproof. It gives you like intense, clumpy, in the best way possible, I'm using the word clumpy, flirty, fat volume. It really pairs well with a smoky eye as well because it just gives your lashes a lot more intensity. So I do like three or four coats of this stuff and really, really build it up. This is my favorite lip pencil right now. It's from L'Oreal. It is in the shade Toffee, Toffee to be. And it's long wearing too, which is really nice. And then right over top, this is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Tinted Lip Balm in Tawny. This stuff is so good. I also really like their butter lipsticks. Those are gorgeous too, but this one has been my favorite because it's just like a nice everyday color. It doesn't compete with anything. Two products I've really been loving from Bumble and Bumble that are both from the same line, but I use these every single time I wash or style my hair. So this first one is a leave-in balm. It's the Bond Building Styler. And I put this in before I style my hair and after I style my hair as well. I usually go in with a bead like that big, rub it in between my hands, and I will just work it into my hair. It makes your hair nice and soft, gives it a good amount of shine as well, and just kind of nourishes any bits that feel a little bit dry. Um, and then this is the blow dry spray. It's the BB Glow Blow Dry Accelerator. Sometimes I feel like blow dry accelerators don't work, but this one really does. I only do two sprays because my hair is a little bit, well, it's actually a lot shorter than it typically is. And I do feel like it makes my hair blow dry faster, but also my hair is typically really frizzy and it can look really dull after I've blow dried. So this makes my hair look really shiny and feel very soft after I've blow dried. This month I took some time off of gel manicures just to give my nails a little bit of a break. So I've been using regular polish and two of my favorite shades have been the Wet n Wild Wild Shine in Yo Soy. It's more of a neutral bone gray shade. And then this one from Essie, which is in Rocky Rose. 
I mean, I wish I was wearing one of them. I'm wearing um, OPI Tierra Misu for two today, which is also another favorite, but that's the one I'm wearing today. But these ones I've been loving and I have this one on my toes right now. Last thing I wanted to mention to you guys is this natural nail polish remover. I kid you not, I smelled it right when I got it because I was like, how can it have no fragrance? It, you can, obviously you shouldn't, but you cannot smell a thing. It doesn't dry out your skin. It doesn't dry out your nails. After you use this, your nails actually look like you got a manicure. They don't look dried out and crusty. Your cuticles don't get all dried out and crusty. Now it is an oily formulation. So what I like to do is it came with a dropper. I take the dropper. I just do a drop of it on each of my fingernails and then let it soak in for about five minutes rub it with a cotton pot pad it comes off completely clean and i just feel better using something like this because obviously nail polish remover really smells awful and like that can't be good to be smelling especially when you're doing manicures very regularly so i just feel a little bit better switching to something that's more natural and clean and all right guys that is everything i wanted to mention for my september favorites um i know it wasn't super exciting in the eyeshadow department or in the lip department. I did have a bunch of like reds that I was wearing this month, but this was the one that I was wearing the most frequently. And when I'm doing these get ready with me's, I try to keep it as accurate to what I wore the most throughout the month. So I'm wondering if you guys still like the get ready with me style or if you want me to take a break from get ready with me style monthly favorites and switch back to just doing talking about products and swatching them for you so you guys can like actually see everything that I'm using but when I do the get ready with me style favorites it takes more time obviously to do the tutorial and show you guys the products in action whereas if I'm just like sitting and speaking about them and showing you guys swatches I can show you like a more wide array of all the products that I was using throughout the month because I did actually have two other foundations that I really liked and I was like bouncing between the three of them for the month, but the All May one was the one I was using the most. So I don't know, I'm kind of torn between doing Get Ready With Me's every single month for my favorites or switching back to sit down uh, monthly favorites. So let me know your thoughts, I would love to hear from you. Um, leave it in the comments down below. I'm gonna list and link everything in the description box for you guys as well. Please be sure to subscribe if you didn't earlier and I would also love it if you guys would come follow me on Instagram too. Bye guys.